Sometimes I need black male beats. <laughs> and the only place to get the true black male beats is right here. South at London. black male beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. For That's real. where the black male goes for his beats. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Without black male beats, the black man would be beatless. <laughs> mm. You see what I'm saying? Preach, preach. He's so obvious. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Welcome to the Kaiser Report. I'm Max Kaiser. You know, a posture at bus stops across the UK asks, do you know someone living beyond their means and benefiting from crime? Taking this, taking that, taking the piss, taking the fun out of the lulz cap. This is why, in no one we trust, is the motto of the latest battle in the global insurrection against bank occupation. Sure, that's it. That's the five minutes of sunshine for London for this year. But you were talking about how do they afford it. Yeah. Now, of course, they mean poor people. As you see from the image, they're saying this is gold bling these people would be wearing. And if you see somebody who doesn't look like they should be wearing gold bling, you should call Crime Stop. Well, let, me, let me just stop you for a second and point out something. You know something, Robin, I was just wondering. Are we good guys or bad guys? You know, I mean, uh, are robbing the rich to feed the poor? That's a naughty word. We never rob. I'd be robbed. Of course you'll be robbed. If I see somebody living beyond their means, I mean, I, all I have to do is go to uh, any restaurant in Mayfair, and I will see dozens of three-piece wearing banksters living beyond their means. They, they, they are living on the proceeds of crime. That guy should be arrested. I'm reporting that guy to George Osborne, whose office is right behind me. I want to report them. I want to make a citizen's arrest on my way here on the Tower of London, under the London Bridge. Let's stop. Chop, 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 chop. Here we are in the city of London where everybody is living thanks to the benefit of the crime beyond their means. Um, now, they're of course looking up in the poor areas. These posters are not in these expensive areas in the city. So I want to look at why should they get away with it? If you tell us, we will take action. And then money taken from these criminals, the police say, will be reinvested into the community. So Max, why should they get away with it? Well, they're not taking action. They're not taking any action. Uh, you know, you could call any of these phone numbers that they have a hotline for crime, and you say, I, I just saw a banker steal a billion euros, and they'd be like, oh, um, twiddly dum, we don't care, shut the frick up. So, uh, there's no action being taken. There was against Aston Walker, the Birmingham looter. He stole, like, a, a piece of clothing. He's a freedom fighter. Aston Walker is a freedom fighter. The Birmingham looting was the logical outcome of being raped and pillaged by banksters led by George Osborne, who, by the way, will not be in his job in six months, I predict. I, I, I can't remember the last time I bought a pasty in Greg's. Oh, I hear the I know they all look alike to you, Max, but the Tory behind you is actually Boris Johnson, not George Osborne. <laughs>